It's important to use markers within Apple Motion 5 if you plan on creating custom titles for Final Cut Pro 10. If you find this tutorial useful, check out Genius TV's training packages to Orlando, Florida. In the previous tutorial, I created these flying text letters in motion. The template I created is perfectly fine until you decide to lengthen or shorten the title within the timeline. If I lengthen my title, the opening animation will play slower. If I shorten the title, the animation would play faster. To fix this, right click on your template within the title browser window and choose Open in Motion. When you're in Motion 5, move the playhead indicator to an area after your animated behavior. Right click in the timecode bar of the timeline window and choose Add Marker. Double click on the marker to bring forward the Edit Marker dialog box. Change the type of the marker from Standard to Build In Optional. The highlighted area in brown is the only area that will be affected when you trim your title within Final Cut Pro 10. When you're done, save the title template. When you're back in Final Cut Pro, you'll need to re-edit the title template to the timeline. As a quick side note, since I saved the title template with Build In as optional, you can see I now have the option to turn it off within the Inspector window. If I keep the Build In option selected, you can now see that the opening animation doesn't change speed if I trim the length of the title. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro 10 training class, visit GeniusDV.com.